Well, I'll bet that got your attention. In June of 1992, delegates from all over the world met in Rio de Janeiro to continue the perpetuation of one of the greatest hoaxes in history. 99% of the people in the world are living in fantasy land. I've been lecturing for years that there is no depletion of the ozone. There is no ozone layer. And what have been called holes in the ozone layer are nothing more than natural occurrences that occur always in the same place every winter, depending upon which hole is experiencing winter at that particular time. These hoaxes are intended to help impose austerity during the present economic collapse by shutting down industry and infrastructure and by attacking and destroying science itself. Last year, folks, the National Geographic Society released in book form the results of a Gallup poll of 10,000 individuals internationally testing their knowledge of geography. The National Geographic Society considers it, quite correctly, a mark of illiteracy that 56% of American respondents do not know the population of the United States. 32% cannot name any of the members of NATO, and 50% cannot name any members of the Warsaw Pact. But not to worry. Most Americans, 84%, are aware of concerns that fluorocarbons and other chemicals may be destroying the Earth's ozone layer. <laughs> oh, my God. Among those that are aware, almost all, 94%, realize that the impact of a depleted ozone layer would be felt all over the world. Nearly three in four, or 73% of all respondents, knew that wind patterns, and not the ozone layer, Ocean currents or sunspots spread the fallout from the nuclear accidents at Chernobyl. As the Soviets have emphasized as part of their Glasnost disinformation campaign, we in the free world must no longer see them through the lenses of an enemy image. Quote, The new enemy is us. International economic security is inconceivable unless related not only to disarmament, but also to the elimination of the threat to the world's environment. Unquote, said Mikhail Gorbachev to the United Nations General Assembly on December the 7th, 1988. Quote, Time is running out. Much is being done in various countries. Here again, I would just like to underscore most emphatically the prospects opening up in the process of disarmament, particularly, of course, nuclear disarmament for environmental revival, unquote. Scam one, the holes in the ozone layer.